it's me. That, uh, listen, I... I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do, I, but, but... Jesus, do, do you know how they view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. In the mid-19th century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. 1942. Whilst the world was at odds with itself, the Ishin Initiative discovered Patient Zero. I'll administer the first injection. And now, this might cause some slight discomfort. And shortly after, the Ether Institute.
of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. Right. Would you be a dear and help me with the setup? I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse by the computers over there.
Right. A few things before we project. Our client, Jean, is currently in a very delicate state. Our primary focus is to ensure that we clear this area of her mind from the plaque buildup that is causing the disease. In order to do that from within, we're going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the mental frame that she's receiving. surroundings. It keeps most restorers' sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment, pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands, or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime.
worth noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now, you can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. indicate that the central focus of this memory is located below you, in an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. Entry 95D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way.
Okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great lengths, but doesn't discuss who the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down, further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information.